Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Buck from the Big Island of Hawaii and this is my highlight. Today's Wednesday, so today I'm going to head up to the farmer's market, meet some local people, get some local fruits, vegetables, artesian foods, some of the local fare, and really just talk to some of the people here from the island, figure out what's going on island-wide. But one of my favorite things is I love to take my motorcycle. So let me show you the bike that I got. So this is what they call a rat bike or a rat rod. When I bought this bike, the reason I got it was because I, the company that I have, Carvey, that rents out these cars to tourists that come to the island, um, sometimes they need them moved from, from the Kona airport to where they're picking them up in Hilo or vice versa. And we used to have to take two cars to do that. So it was a lot of gas, a lot of time, two hours there, two hours back with two cars. It would take up our whole day. So instead I bought this motorcycle. I was fixing up a trailer that could tow the motorcycle behind one of the Hondas. And then when I dropped off the car at the airport, then I'd hook the trailer up to the back of the motorcycle and then I could drive it home. So it just take me and it wouldn't take two of us. But let me show you the bike. It's what they call a rat bike. So a rat bike, the idea to it is it's basically Frankenstein. When something breaks down, you don't go back and, uh, and, and buy the original parts, you fix it with something else. So you'll see that it's a Suzuki motor. It's a G550 motor from 1982 or 1983. You can see it's an Honda, not a Honda gas tank. Now the patina here, we're hoping that that gets a little bit more drastic and then we'll put a clear coat on it so it won't rot all the way through. There are Kawasaki handlebars and instrument cluster. And if you can see here on the instrument cluster, that's broke. So I'm probably going to replace it with a thermometer, uh, dial or a clock dial or something else that I can find and then these are hot these are uh, Harley Davidson fairings both the front and the back are Harley Harley Davidson fairings friend of the previous owner made the seat uh, you can see that there are just some things welded on now this is my favorite part to the bike these forks it's a hardtail, which means there's no suspension in the back end of it. These forks are actually road posts. These are the delineator posts that came off of a, uh, out of the lava flow over on the Capojo side. So we scavenged those forks, chopped them down, and uh, bolted them on. So you can see there, it's super fun for me, runs pretty good. It has a miss at around 7,000 RPMs. I think that it's getting too much air, so I need to work on that. But uh, I'm gonna take you guys for, along for the ride. We'll meet some people up there and eat some food. And uh, if you like the content, hit me a thumbs up, hit the bell, subscribe, and I'll see you up at the market. Just arrived here in Nalehu, home to about 900 people, still at the south point of the Big Island. They have this little farmer's market here. It's about twice the size that it was last week. It's good to see everybody coming. I still have to lean my bike because the kickstand sucks. 
But uh, we're gonna go in here and buy some stuff, fruits, veggies. There's some mushrooms over here that are my absolute favorite. So we'll go, uh, go grab some of that stuff. I'll take you along, meet some local people, and hopefully get some good grinds. And we still gotta do this. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, it's gotten busier. With the mask, I can't tell. Golden red. Hello. Hello, are they all vegan? Uh, no. Okay. The uh, sourdoughs are the vegan. Okay. White, whole wheat, and whole wheat with rye. And you make them in, a, in your own brick oven, right? Yeah, I do it in a Portuguese forno made out of lava rock. Oh, incredible. I'm Right now, I've got a nine pound pork roast in there making Kahlua pork. I put it in yesterday at four in the afternoon. When I get home today, it'll still be about 180 when I take it out. Incredible. How often do you cook, do you cook in there? Right now, I'm doing it once a week, but Ocean View is going to open up their swap yeah, meeting. Saturday, again, so right? I'll be, yeah, trying to promote the people in Ocean View to come on up the days of the bake and get it fresh. Like what day Friday. can I come get some? Uh, Tuesdays and Friday. Here, let me write down your number. Yep. familiar with Ocean View at all? I am. That's where I first moved when I moved here to the island. Okay, you know Princess Kailani? Yeah. If I know you're coming, I'll put a cardboard sign. Okay. The very first one is kind of like the exit, so it'd be the second one up. And then I've got a full drive-through because I've got a two-acre uh, two parcel. Yeah, we moved to, when we first moved to the island, we moved to Tiki and Kona. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right around the corner from me. There you go, partner. You're cherry. All right. Thank you. So camera wasn't rolling when I went over there and uh, bought the soap initially, but she gave me a couple of uh, samples to go home and try, and then some grapefruit eucalyptus, a tea tree, grapefruit tea tree to try. Oops. And uh, they're vegan, so my wife will dig them. She says they're super soft on your hair, so stoked to go home and try these out. Let's go see what else we get. You on a website or something? YouTube. YouTube. And you're down on South Point Road, right? Right. Right. Is it uh I don't know enough about C B D great for pain, it's great for sleep, great for anxiety. And could it work for pigs? Sure it could. What what's wrong with your pig? We've got one, we've got a pot belly. Yeah. And uh she's super moody. How long will that last? How many how many drops are in that? It could last you a month or more. Would it? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Talk to you later. Talk to you soon. I'm debating whether I should buy the Lilikoi or see if I have it at home first. I can't remember. <laughs> well, the good thing about Lilikoi is you always eat it. You do. I have so much. I bought four from you guys two weeks ago. Oh my gosh. So I know that I've got the star fruit. I know that I got mango. And I've got soursop. I haven't done pina colada. And everybody does really, really like it. If you like sweet, it is really good. Okay. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys take card? I don't. No, okay. Just running low on cash. <laughs> That's the problem of our life, right? Thanks, guys. I will. So, when, do you have lion's mane back at home? I don't have any right now. And I might not have any for another couple weeks. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys sell the kits to make it? Is that what they are down there? Uh, or? These are Florida. The lion's mane, it's really, it's hard to fruit. Okay. And so I would sell the kits, but I feel like they'd fail a okay. lot. Like for the oyster mushrooms, they grow pretty decently on their okay. own. So are these kits, how much will they produce? Like three quarters of a pound. How do you, uh, how do you care for this? What do you do with this? So basically, I would tell you to clean a knife, okay. cut the axe. Okay. And you can cut into the block, like, then you'd squish out all the air in the bag. Okay. How much, uh, how much is one of these kits? 20 bucks. I'll probably just keep buying your mushroom. <laughs> right, right. I'd rather pay you guys to do that. And that's how it goes, but, you know. It sounds fun, kinda, but. It's just, a, yeah, it's more of an experience kind yeah. of thing. It's volcano mushroom, yeah? Volcano mushroom, yeah. Cool. Oh, Thanks, right man. Right on. Yeah, have a good one. You too. Pick this morning. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes. Dollar a bag. Morning dew We'll try Thank a bag. You. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. 
Hi, how are you? Good. Good. What is this? It's a green papaya salad. Yeah, this one. Oh, I love papaya salad. Yeah, and then with the I order it, you gonna mix together. If you like nut, you nut. Oh, peanut like that. Oh. And then if you want spice, you put spice. I have this spice like this. I like it. I like it without spice. I like it, or very little spice. Well, I add to you. I mix mix to you. Bye, man. Sister, bye, bye, dear. Have a wonderful day. You want? You want? Yeah, I, I want. Yeah. A, a special for you because everybody go home. Yes. Yeah, that's a lot. For you because you're a good man. <laughs> well, thank you yeah, so much. Vegetable, uh, fresh vegetable, and uh, the spice on the middle, so you mix together. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You want chopsticks? Ah, uh, yes, please. Yes, That's great. Is it yeah. spicy? Yes. Just a little? Yeah, not perfect. Not too much. A little bit, like turn to medium. Okay. Thai, Thailand, not Thailand medium, American. Medium. Amer American medium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have one with no spice? This one no spice. No huh? spice. Okay, yeah. perfect. Here we go. And then the. Okay, this awesome. This one, just remember this one a lot. Okay. The spy. Okay, oh, you yeah, can yeah. see the chili seed. Perfect. Yeah, yeah that's... no spy at all. Okay, yeah. great. <clears throat> Thank you, brother. Perfect. Thank Have you. Day. Have a good one. Aloha. You and is this a non-profit? This is a non-profit. Oh, awesome. Okay. Um, so yeah. contact them again now that we're up and running. Okay. And, uh, Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Finishing up an awesome day here at the farmer's market in Ka'u here in Nalehu. Got some of my favorite Thai food from Lin. It's always delicious. Some sourdough bread made out of this guy's uh, brick oven. Can't wait till Tuesday to go get some fresh stuff of this right out of the oven hot. Some homemade soaps. Gonna go home and try out a couple of samplers here. Um, these guys have never disappointed me since. I've bought so much jam and jelly from them. Excited to go home and try some pina colada, a little bit of fresh produce, and super excited for these oyster mushrooms. They're uh, my favorite mushrooms so far. Shred them up super fine, cook them really hot in some extra virgin olive oil, and they become, it's even hard to explain, crispy, kind of like a French fry with the meaty in, inside, but uh, different flavor, awesome texture. I'm gonna grind on uh, some of this uh, awesome Thai food from Lin and take the bike back home before it rains as always super excited you guys are here go down like subscribe turn on some notifications show me some love i'm josh buck this is my highlight <laughs>